Hello, can everyone hear me now? I'm Kurt Weber and I'm running for City County Council in District 8 against Monroe Gray. Thank you. The first thing I want to do is make it abundantly clear that my uh, campaign, I want it to be about issues and that's very difficult given the political climate we have. Uh, the media sometimes focuses in on things that sell advertising and with Monroe and I that's typically confrontation. Uh, to me, if you don't mind, I hope that the questions tonight the address to me will be about the city, me, and pretty much everything's fair game in that regard. And uh, let's leave Monroe alone. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because I care about this neighborhood. To be quite honest, when my wife, my wife grew up a couple houses down on Meridian, and the first thing she told me was, I want to move back to the neighborhood. And the first thing I thought, you're going to know I'm not a politician after I say this, oh my gosh, North Meridian, the high rent district, those people must be snooty. You're not. I like you. This is my home. You're down-to-earth people just like me. I've met more people here that have earned their way up than any other way. Uh, and what used to be my wife's home has become mine. Uh, we're invested in the district. She works down at the Blackburn Community Health Center. She's a physician, and I can assure you she could have done anything she wanted to do in her career, and she chose to work there. I started out my career at... Uh, couple law firms you'd recognize and decided about nine years ago I wanted to venture out on my own and be my own boss. And the great thing about that is I am my own man. I can come up here and tell you what I think and I don't care what the result is. In a couple months, well not even a couple months, man I've been doing this a while, in about a month you're going to go to the polls and you're going to have one choice. And that choice is who is a better watchdog for your tax dollars in city government. It's either Monroe or me. I'm not running for mayor. I'm running for city county council in District 8. I'm not real interested in social engineering. I want to take us back to the basics. By that I mean when you flush your toilet, I expect the waste to go to a waste treatment facility and not the White River. When I call 911, I want a police officer come to come to my home and help out. But beyond that, I want to leave it to someone else because to be quite honest, both the Democrats and the Republicans sometimes fail with social engineering, and social engineering costs money. So for those of you in the room that think that I'm not going to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is, I'm a Republican. Yes, for some of you, that's acceptable. For some of you, you may have a little hurdle to get over. They may say, hey, listen, I've never voted for a Republican before. But here's what I think you need to think about. What am I running for? I'm not running for president. I have an opinion on Iraq, but it doesn't matter. And it might surprise you what my opinion is. I may have an opinion on abortion, but it doesn't matter because I'm not running for any other office. I'm running for city count, county council, nothing more. And to do that job, I thought it might be a good idea to educate myself on the budget which to be quite honest from my perspective is the most important thing for us to be concerned about in our city. Because regardless of whether you think property taxes or income taxes is the way to go to raise revenue, it doesn't matter. If you spend less, you need to raise less. I don't really have an opinion at this point in time about whether property taxes should be repealed or not. I've been asked about that. The easy answer for me to say, heck yeah, repeal them. I'd have a million volunteers tomorrow, but I'm not that guy because I haven't researched that issue. What I have done is look at the, the city budget, what I can do about that budget, and you have it before you. I asked the question, how many city county council candidates actually put together something called the blank way to a better budget? Mine happens to be the Weber way, a little self-promotion there. But if you look through that, there are tangible things that I think we can do to better our city. They're about fiscal restraint. One of the, my frustrations about the city county council is that they're not enough of a fiscal body. They are the last check on government spending. That's it. You got 29 people to protect your tax dollar. 
Unfortunately for those guys, no offense, Kent Smith. Kent Smith is the Republican at large, one of the Republican at large candidates. And Tim McGuire is here from the, the Libertarian Party. Unfortunately, though, those four seats on the city county council generally go as the mayor's office go. So immediately the mayor gets four extra votes for whatever he or she wants to do. I don't think that's a good thing. Because to be quite honest, when both parties control both things, they tend to get carried away. And that's what you've seen, I think, over the last few years, the last uh, four years. In that document, you'll look and you'll see the first thing I would propose is something that I can't directly do anything about, but nevertheless, I think it's something to throw out there. One is to eliminate the at-large seats and have geographic districts drawn where there are 29 members of the council and they're responsive to the people. Why is this a good thing? It's a good thing because then, as goes the council at-large seats, does not mean that's how it's going to go for the mayor. The mayor's going to get his way. The next point I think in there, and I'm a participative guy, so if I skip over one, let me know. The next thing I think I put down there was some thoughts on, uh, on silly spending. I may have skipped over one or two. Silly spending. I think the council needs to look at each budget item right now. I don't like to mother hen the mayor, but sometimes you have to when spending gets out of control. There's a budget for the county commissioners. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit quick, I promise, I don't want to bore you to death, a civics lesson. The county commissioners exist in name only in Marion County. They are the treasurer, the assessor, and the auditor. They are already elected separately. They are the vestige of the old government before UNIGOV. They have a budget item, a budget item that was approved, a budget that was approved. $15,000 of their budget goes to professional services. I don't know what it's for, but if I were on the council, I certainly would ask. $1,700 goes to memberships, member, membership dues. I don't know what organizations they're a membership of, but $1,700, I don't know why they need to be a member of anything. A thousand bucks goes to conference and travel expenses. Now, they all have offices in the city county council, uh, in the city county building. Where the heck are they traveling to? Now, I know that total budget item is $21,500. It doesn't seem like much, but it's one example of the line items that are in the budget that I could discern. Ironically, I've done a fair amount of municipal finance work as a lawyer, and I've got an undergraduate degree in finance, and I don't completely understand the mayor's budget because there's not enough detail for any councilman to make an informed decision about whether or not to vote for it. So you gotta ask questions. Right now, we've decided to take away certain take-home cars. It's commendable. Why didn't we do that six years ago? Think about, think about how much money we would have saved. You know, and here's where uh, you uh, may kind of understand my upbringing. I grew up in southern Indiana, and to be quite honest, when I decided to run for city county council, I had to call my family and remind them. I said, a reporter just asked, where's my hometown? And in southern Indiana, 20, 40, well, whatever, I'm 40 years old, it was all Democrats. My family were Democrats. They were city workers. My brother's a firefighter. My nephew's a firefighter. I thought that I would be a Democrat. And as I grew older, I tended to identify with the Republican Party. 